Can you recall the first time someone racially abused you when you were younger? Uh, I was actually in kindergarten and uh, it started happening every day. I was told that the KKK was going to get me. Now, I didn't know what the Ku Klux Klan, the KKK was, but I did know that I was the only person that they were saying it to. And then you'd come into school the next day and you'd hear this, the KKK is going to get you. And that's quite frightening when you're a child, right? Um, and um, you're, you're in that situation alone and you, you don't necessarily have the individuals that you could talk to about it. So, and the issue oftentimes with, with kids, certainly at, you know, during that particular time, is you identify people through their appearance, right, uh, on that. This is, gets back to great brand building. Don't just look at the assumptions and observations that we all see. You got to look beyond that to see how people really are experiencing and feeling within their life. And you, you saw that come to life in some of the campaigns that I worked on, right? Stand Up, Speak Up campaign with Thierry Henry was all about fighting racism. It can be fuel um, for the way we are motivated to get to those points where we're, we're putting work out in the world or helping others so that they don't have to go through that. Was it design? Was it photography? My parents didn't have much, um, but um, the, I, they really invested in my passion for, for art and design. Um, so imagine three beds, and then there were three other elements in this bedroom, okay? One was my drafting table and desk where I drew all the time. And again, cramped space and through those logos and the visual communication that um, I saw um, within the world of sports started to pique my interest uh, in, in doing this. You, ask, you, ha you have to put yourself out there to ask. And so suddenly I was shoulder to shoulder as a 15 year old with uh, art directors and writers and creative directors and, and storytellers 